Uh, what up, you lab rats? This is episode number 127, and today we're going to talk about creating a movement in your own community. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to The Lab, your daily inspiration for creating better content. And of course, today is Good Shit Friday, and as always, I'm joined by my co-host, Dre Bailey. What's up, Dre? Hey, Meg, what's up? What's up, man? I'm all right. So, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> last week we talked about you starting this really cool thing called Louisville Smiles. And today I wanted to talk about kind of your progress from that first beginning to coming uh, to today and see kind of just where you are. So why don't you go ahead and explain to us this movement that you're doing? Because I think it's going to be really cool for other people to go, oh, that is really cool that Dre started a, a movement in his own community and, and now he's doing it. So let's catch up with you and, you know, if you could explain to us what Louisville Smiles is uh, sure to the thing, lab rats, sure we would love that. Okay, well, Louisville Smiles is a project that I, I kind of created. It is my way, my personal way, to get myself in the community, to get from behind the camera, I should say, from, and f get from, f basically from getting, I'm, I put myself out there on YouTube, and I want to put myself out there in the community. So it's, it's my mm -hmm. way to get myself out there. And I want to gotcha. uh, create a, a, a movement, like, um, Smiles, uh, smiles, happiness, and the reason why I came up with that because to me that's what I'm all about. I love smiles. I know it kind of goes hand in hand with photography, but that's not. That's almost like a coincidence, you know. Uh, mm. If you notice me, I smile a lot. I'm, I'm always happy. <laughs> this is the way I am when I'm like pissed off. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I'm always happy and laughing, and you know, it's kind of my my vibe. So anyway, that's what I'm trying to. That's what I want to to photograph. That's what I want to see other people. So I've created Louisville Smiles, and this is where I go out in the community. I put myself out there, from off the internet to real life people meeting real life people. Uh, it's kind of like street photography, but I'm asking every single one of them before I would do street photography. I'm hiding behind trees, hiding behind <laughs> bushes with my long lens, capturing people, you know, but this time I'm in their face and I'm asking them and I'm telling them what Louisville Smiles is all about. I, I, and I created a business card. It's got my Louisville Smiles and it's got, and it basically, it just tells you where to find your picture. So I take their pictures, put them all on Facebook, you know, yep. on the Facebook page, Louisville Smiles, uh, when they agree to take their picture and it's pretty easy i mean i say can i take a picture i mean it's it's deeper than that but it's yep uh this last weekend i got two no's so i got 14 pictures i got two no's mm, so far interesting last uh last weekend i had to cut it off short um because i had something to do so an emergency kind of popped up i wanted to actually get more pictures but it's pretty simple they just say yes and i don't even give them an explanation of why i want to take their picture so then they say <laughs> yes and then i kind of give them the explanation and then they're like oh yeah cool you know and i give them a button and it's funny because when i'm out there and i'm walking around and taking people's pictures that you know i cross paths with those people again and I'll actually yeah. see them wear my button. They wear my button, and I think that's the coolest nice. thing. They, they wear something I created. You know, that's I don't know. That's just kind of like wow. That's awesome. So anyway, that's, that's branding, the man. I, yeah, that is, and and it's getting the word out because you know when they have this button on, somebody in their circle or somebody they cross. Hey, what's that? Where'd you get it from? Right now, mm -hmm. they automatically talking about me. Right. You see, and um, and I'm like yeah, this guy Louisville Smiles. You know, blah blah. Envy Me Images. I don't really. It's sponsored by my business, okay? It's sponsored by Envy Me Images, but I don't push it. Uh, you know what? It's, 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 if you go to Facebook, you'll see it. It's kind of right here on the back of this card, but that's mm -hmm. it. You know, I, if they ask me, well, who are you? You know, right. then I'll say, yeah, I'm a photographer, Envy Me Images, and if appropriate, I'll give them that business card as well. But, okay. I, you know, I don't push it. Everything is free. I'm like, yeah, just go to the Facebook page, download it. Uh, tag it and share it. Now, of course, when they tag it and share it, you know, my Envy Me images is attached, and then this is where it just creates that momentum of, you know, it's on their page, all their friends see it, and then right. they see what I'm all about, and then, you know, and that's the, mag the whole magic of Facebook, and that's where Facebook kind of cut in and said, um, uh, you know, with the, with the pages, you know, no, we're not going to push your content out that, like that no more. You're going to pay. 
to, to get it <laughs> out. You know, you're going to pay to play. But, you know, doing it, doing what I'm doing, I totally kind of get by that because they're actually coming to me and sharing it. You awesome. see, I don't have to push out anything. So it, it, it's great. Um, I'm really meeting people. I'm kind of introverted as well, just like you, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's, it's tough. It's not the easiest thing to do, you know, because yeah. it's just not me. You know, but gotcha. once I get talking to people, yeah, I can kind of get out there and say, hey, can I take your picture? And I'm having a good time, and it's fun, and they're happy, and, and, and I'm happy, and, and it, it, you know, and they're coming to the Facebook page, they're like, wow, this is great, and you can see the shares going, or you can see them tagging in other people as their friends. So it's really, it, it's really working for me. It's only, I, it's been in effect, I only shot, I shoot every weekend, I shot two weekends. But I had the page up for about four weeks because I've been putting, I always put happy quotes on there. You know, I'm putting anything that's happiness related, and then I'm putting a post on there, you know, hey, smiles is contagious, you know. Every post cool, that cool, I put man. on there has a, ends in that little happy face emoticon. You know, How so that's my, yeah, so that's my whole thing. And, um... You know, it's, awesome. it, it, it's cool. I'm putting myself out there. I don't know how much business it will draw for me, but mm -hmm. that's kind of the, um, it, it's not the point. I mean, that's like a bonus. You know, I'm looking for that, but that's not necessarily what I'm looking for. I'm just looking out there to take people's pictures and have fun. And it also gets me better in my craft after taking up pictures, you know. Mm. Taking, um, you know, I consider myself a professional, but you can always learn. Yes. Shooting pictures. You're, you know, every, every picture you're taking, you're learning. So, you know, I'm getting awesome, better. Man. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. That's what it's all about, Meg. Very cool. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, no problem. So what are you, what were your, like, do you have any concrete goals for this movement? Maybe you didn't have them before, but now that you've got some traction, I'm sure that sort of motivated you to go like, okay, where can I take it? So if you could share with us what are your concrete goals for this and then maybe uh. also share some of your, how are you marketing it? Like I was going to ask if you were going to post these on Instagram or create a hashtag for people to follow along or perhaps give people an agenda so they can like look for you, right? Um, so. Marketing, I've just been doing the this, this whole self-marketing with the Facebook thing, but as far as the Instagram and the uh, the Twitter handle and all that stuff. I don't have it. I kind of, this is, it's like being created. I'm doing it at the same time I'm creating it, if that makes any sense. Because <laughs> if you remember, it was an idea in my head. And then mm. I'm talking to you about it. And you're like, well, why don't you get it done? So I kind of just started doing it with not necessarily having that big plan. Okay, I want to do this. I'm going to do gotcha. this and do this and line it. So I kind of didn't do it. I, you know, I was just focused on actually getting out there and starting shooting and um, uh, starting shooting, getting out there and shooting, and um, and it's kind of coming fun, to huh? me. Yeah, it's kind of coming to me. Yeah, so my plan sucks. You know, I admit that, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> my future plan sucks too. <laughs> but I'm it's creating okay. it. I'm, I'm doing it as it goes. You know, so I'm gonna say okay, because my time is also limited as well. And, and, you know, my computer time, ugh, so I got to get out there and, yeah, I got to do create that Instagram. I didn't even create mm. a, a Twitter handle yet for it, you know, so mm. I got to do that before somebody takes it. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, yeah, so but that's dude, what I, hmm? How about, um, so, you know, you're getting these ideas kind of on the fly, right, or maybe right, just right. even after this conversation. And perhaps you can, like, like I, what I do is, like, yeah, it's, it's really hard to just, like, try to be social online every day. So I try to schedule stuff out. Like, I write all of the copy and all the stuff myself, but, like, try to schedule stuff out. And uh, you could use something like Hootsuite or something like that and have just, you just go to Hootsuite and, like, schedule it all out. And then um, try to also build a following there. That way it's mm -hmm. not just, you know, on, on Saturday you're working really hard and then you can't even touch it or market it or anything throughout the week because you're working or you're busy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's something that you can do, like sort of batch it. Yeah, I use, um, does Hootsuite do Facebook? Well, with Facebook, mm -hmm. I, I do use the um, schedule thing. This is actually yeah. the first time I'm using the schedule post on Facebook. Um, I do use Buffer app, but that's for EMIP TV. Um, I yeah. use that when I have a brainstorm of some tweets I'm trying to get out there without hitting hitting right. you all at one time. Right. And then, um, <laughs> and then uh, that's it. 
So the Hootsuite, well, that's it. I used to use Hootsuite, but I didn't really, I didn't know what I was using when I, when I was using Hootsuite. Yeah. But I use Buffer active, well, n actively, but not every day actively, if you know what I mean. It's on my phone, and you know, I'll, I'll log I into see. it every once in a while. Yeah, just and schedule it all that. It's not like mm -hmm. you're physically there sitting at the computer trying to like think of content like just kind of schedule it all out for the week at least right. and then you're not you're not so attached to it because it, it does take a lot of time to try to you know post things and crap like that but um but yeah instagram that's another thing like if you create a unique hashtag that way people can kind of follow along that is true because yeah. I could put I mean, these pictures movement, on Instagram. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I could put these pictures on Instagram as well. I, I don't even think of Instagram. I use Instagram for EMIP TV, but oh, man, rarely. Oh, man, Instagram's blowing up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not, it's still something that's got to catch on with me. You know, I don't know <laughs> why. I try, but I don't know. <laughs> something I'm missing. Maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know. <laughs> I think it, we're, we're the same way. Like, we're like... <laughs> Um, as, as you know, for our photography business, like we're, uh -huh. we're just now marketing on Instagram and, and it's not even marketing. It's just kind of repurposing content that we've already posted on Facebook. So right. it's not even that unique to Instagram, mm -hmm. but Instagram is a simple, like you going out there and shooting, right? You take a selfie of the people that you just took a picture of. It's not the professional picture, but it's a raw picture. And that's what, that's what Instagram is all about. It's the right. selfie, it's the raw filters, it's you know, pictures from your phone. And mm -hmm. you could definitely do that on the fly. Like, it's just remembering to do it. Yeah, know? that's what it's all about. I yeah, mean, I could do it. There's really seconds. no excuse. There's, there's no excuse. <laughs> it I just didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got 10 seconds. Yeah, I mean, but I know, like, I know how that feels like because we went, Kevin and I went climbing yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, let's get some B-roll. And then he's always, like, not willing to document the things that we're doing in the back end that shows our personality and stuff like that but right. it, it literally takes you know like five minutes of your time to just do right. it and mm -hmm. if you do it right it's very useful you know because we got a lot of good b-roll right. so yeah you can't be lazy about it and that's something that we tell each other all the time it and that's something I'm trying to practice. I'm trying to keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, you're, no, you're actually showing me, like, when I watch your content and I see, like, how did you get that B-roll you, you set a camera? You know, because that's exciting. That's what makes, not, this is not, it's what makes me want to follow you more. I already got that. I'm already addicted. <laughs> but it makes me want to, it makes me interested. It makes me dive in. You know what I'm saying? I can't get the words out, but. <laughs> I think it tells and a story I, I better. I be like that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I want to be like that, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm learning from you in that aspect. And, yeah, I need to do that stuff. So. Thank you, man. I appreciate that because it is an extra mile that you take mm -hmm. to get those B-roll shots. And, like, it is such a pain, dude. But then when I get it, I'm so happy when I get it. Like, even though it's shitty, it it uh, it just it's adds another shitty. element to your work. Sometimes <laughs> shitty. they're shitty, dude. Like, because I'm not thinking about it. I'm thinking about, like, when I did that, I just uh -huh. did my first episode for Local Lab Rats. And uh, all the shots, to me, were terrible because they were... You know, the composition was off. It was backlit or whatever. I could go on and on about it from my technical point of view. Right. But I really wanted to be with her and, like, be, like, present with her. And uh, it was just really difficult to do two things at once. But if I didn't get that, like, you know, it's like the whole thing. One is better than zero. So I always kind of play on that. And even though the, the shot is not perfect uh, or maybe I'm not in the frame the perfect mm -hmm. way, like, at least it's there. And it does tell the story a lot better better than just you and uh like just a head talking or something right. like that right so yeah dude okay so uh let us know so you had two no's I had two from no's. Louisville smiles two what was Louisville what was smiles. that about why did they say no why do you think <laughs> let's kind of analyze it all right they looked like they was in a hurry okay. they looked like they really had to uh be somewhere oh, okay and that's legitimate. <laughs> to be and and and, and and also what I did notice that those the, the two people that said no were they were foreign from another country. If so uh, that might have to be something to do with it because I know if I was in another country and they're like, Hey, could I take your picture? I'd be like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to steal something from me. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? What are you doing? <laughs> I saw that in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Taken. Yeah, exactly. So, so maybe that was it. 
<laughs> okay, that's legitimate. I can I can understand that. Yeah, okay, yeah. And I didn't cool. know that there was um foreign until they actually spoke the word no. You know, it was a definitely a strong uh, international type language. So I see, I see. Yeah. Okay, they get a pass. They get a pass. <laughs> yeah, so <I laughs> they saw the pass. movie taken and they're like, I ain't taking no damn picture. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most All right, part, so yeah, it, it's pretty easy. It, it's, yeah. it's 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 definitely. Oh man, like two hundred percent easier than I thought. So, oh, that's great, man. So, yeah, if you just ask, what are the mm -hmm. kind of biggest lessons that you've learned so far? So, it was easier than you thought. That's a great. Uh, that's a great lesson. Right. Um, what else? I don't know. I, I mean, it's still kind of newish. You know what <laughs> I mean? Uh, sometimes it's so. It happens so. Fast, I catch myself fumbling with my camera, believe it or not, because I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> so. Oh, you actually want a picture? <laughs> yeah. But other than that, no, I mean, nah, uh uh. Um, um, it's still a learning process. It's great. Everything is going well better than expected. Mm. Um, and the feedback is, is, is well better than expected. Everybody's very interested when I'm telling the story. Uh, not mm -hmm. necessarily the people I'm meeting in the street, but, you know, friends and family or just whoever I run into, you know, and I tell the story that they, they really in tune, like, yeah, really? Mm, okay. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, mm. it's, it's great. I like it. I, I like it a lot. Awesome. Go check Thanks. out the pictures on, you know, don't forget, facebook.com slash Louisville Smiles. And, and I think like I can overlay a couple of them right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like the page, and you know, we was just talking before this video. You like the page, and you don't necessarily get the content forced to you because uh, they yeah, make the page you, yeah. owners pay. But I think to override that, when you're on a desktop computer only, not the cell phone or the tablets, when you click like, there's a little drop down arrow. And then once you click that drop down arrow, it says get notifications. And if you do mm. that, I believe you'll always get forced to content to you when that. Uh, that page post, yeah. you know, on their wait, web page. So when you like my page, click like, click the drop down arrow and say, get notifications. And that way I believe you will get the pictures that I take on the weekends. Cool, man. Yeah, feel so free to comment, like it or whatever. You also held this during the Kentucky Derby? The Kentucky right? Derby was the very first weekend. Yeah, okay, so it's gone, it's done now? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, it's mm -hmm. done now, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's how did that like go? That was good. Uh, it was a lot of people in the streets because they just, yeah. the whole, the thing with Kentucky Derby is not just people at the racetrack. The whole city is in celebration, just wanting to get out, party and barbecue and uh, going to park. So everybody's out. So everybody's just out browsing, doing nothing. And that's what I think what makes it easy as well, because it's not like the people that say yes, they don't have any place to go, nothing to do. Hey, taking a picture is great. I yeah. find it like those the people that's in a hurry, they try to make a, a time for a play or, or, or whatever, dinner time, you know, they don't have time to take a picture, you know, I gotta go. No, no, thank you, you know, so gotcha. uh, during things like that, everybody's just out chilling anyway, relaxing, enjoying the weather. So it's like, yeah, sure, I'll take a picture, you know. Awesome. So that was actually the, yeah, a good day to go out, you know, which I thought people would be, I don't know, I, just th I didn't think it would be, but it was. Yeah. yeah. I almost wish con the Derby could be every weekend. Cool, man. Cool. Mm -hmm. So what are the you what are the plans for for Louisville Smiles in the in the future? I know you said it was kind of like kind of up in the <laughs> air, just going as you go. <laughs> but you also asked me a couple of weeks ago and you said, what if this thing blows up? You know, what do I do right. with that? So I'm sure it's crossed your mind. And uh, what would you you know, let's just let's put it out on the air right now and put just see where there. you're going to be with that. I, Meg, this is a very hard question. Um, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing. I know I started off the first week. I said, because I thought this was going to take forever. I want mm -hmm. five pictures. Five is my goal, okay? And then um, I got like seven pictures like that. You know, awesome. I was like, well, I got five, and, and it's called it a night. And then the next yeah. day, the next week, and I was like, I want ten, okay? So I was just kind of setting pictures, like how many pictures I want to take. Unfortunately, I only got seven because I had an emergency pop up. I had to leave, you know, and my sleep was messed up and I had to work that night because I was mm. I would have just came back and but I, I couldn't. So, you know, next week I'll set 10. So I'm setting goals on how many shots I want. 
uh, and really, it's almost that's as far as I'm looking ahead. Um, I don't know. I, I, I tell you what, I'm looking to get the media involved, our local media, once I get a few more shots, because I want them, when they look at me, I want them to see oh, where it looks like hundreds of pictures, probably about mm. maybe 50. I want them to see that this is a thing. You know, a lot of my pictures, I have them holding this up, and everybody's happy, and, and they'll be like, wow, this guy's, you know, he's doing something, he's cool. So I, I am looking to get m local media attention on it, but not yet. You know, if they Not find yet. me, that's okay. fine, but I will definitely be hunting them out, you know, within right. a few weeks. I didn't set a date. Maybe I should set a date on that. So, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, You're I, funny, I, Drake, because I, I, <laughs> I suck at planning. I, I suck at it, you know. I just, I just do. I, I, you know, I got to get, it's something I got to get better at in setting mm. these goals. A lot of people say write it down because that makes it official when you write it down, and it does work. It works. Mm. I just got to do it more you know i i don't write here's some notes <laughs> you know this is my, this is my I <laughs> but anyway i gotta learn to start writing stuff down because it does make it official and for some reason you 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 go for it you know mm. yeah exactly and that's why i wanted you i kind of push you a little bit to share with us your goals and and i kind of have to dig because you're funny dre you'll say i'm not i'm not a good planner or I don't know what I'm, I'm just going day by day, but I know you have plans, dude. And mm -hmm. I think that's a, a big thing that I think a, everybody can learn from, myself included, where it's like we do have these ideas. We do have a plan. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're sometimes afraid to say it out right, loud here. because this is the, this is then the you're plan. like held accountable to it. You're like, oh, okay. Well, I'm cutting you up. I actually <laughs> thought of it for a split second. And this is when I came to you. I thought of it, you know. I know, Suppose I remember it. That's why I wanted really you to share it. Blows up. Suppose it, because I'm not even <laughs> thinking out there, but suppose it goes ahead of my thinking, you know, and to, to where it could actually be. You know, mm -hmm. how could I uh, take advantage of it? Or how could I, you know, how do I be in the right spot to, to absorb any opportunity that comes towards me? Because I'm not even thinking about any of that. And should I be thinking about that at all time? If I think about that, will that make the whole thing fail? Because I'm not even concentrating on the whole point to begin with. And mm. see, that's, that's where I'm kind of, you know, I'm just like, oh, just take it, you know, with one day at a time, kind of like uh, if you was trying to get off of some kind of narcotics or alcohol problem you know, one day at a time. <laughs> and that's what I'm kind of <laughs> looking at this. Or if you're like, let's say you sports, you know, uh, best three out, the best uh, four out of seven, and you're down three games to none, you're not yep. thinking. You're just like, well, we just take it one game at a time. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking. It's, and I don't know if that's the right thinking, mm. you know. That's interesting. So, however, like every sports team does want to win, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right? So they don't they have that in their mind that's kind of like the goal the grand vision and that's what drives them that's what kind of motivates them to do whatever they need to do however they do rein it back in and go okay right now today the task is you know running Wait. 50 yard lines or whatever mm -hmm. whatever the drill is today or today is uh play my best as a wide receiver you know today is whatever you got to focus on the task at hand that's very very true but they also know where they're going or else where where are you going to go <laughs> right so for you dre and i think for everybody myself included like to remind yourself yes there is a main goal there is a main vision there's a grand vision about what you're doing or else why are you here right why are you why are you even here mm -hmm. and so once you have that grand vision you go okay cool don't let it delude you what's the task today that i need to do then you kind of reel it back in but they kind of work together it's not one or the other I think very much it's it's a it's like a partnership of things in your mind that kind of drives you to do what you do. So I would say, Dre, that like, you know, it's great that you have this grand vision and don't be afraid of it, mm -hmm. you know, because then it it's it just reminds you why you're doing the tedious, glamorous, all the shit in between on a daily day, day to day basis. That's all it does. Um, but you need to know where you're going. Right. I guess, like, you know, I'm on YouTube. I never really think of, I want to say never really, but I'm not necessarily always thinking of what happens if I become one of those big YouTubers, you know, mm. where you can Well, is that what job. you want? Not necessarily. Yes, it, it'll be nice, but not necessarily. I don't it think be about nice. it that much. I never sit there and say, <laughs> well, I don't know if it'll be nice, because I don't know if that's 
that's what I'm saying, man. You know, I don't even know. I don't, I just never think out there like that, you know, and I, mm. I just don't. So I don't know. I thought about it. It, you, you, it hits you, it crosses your, uh, you know, my, my mind every once in a while. And I'm, I'm like, oh, you know, I don't know. I just take it one day at a time. I don't even look at, I, I guess I look at my subscribers, but I'm not into, <laughs> I'm going to do this and hopefully I get 10 subscribers. I'll do this. I don't even have those acknowledgements like a lot of YouTube. Oh, I reached a thousand subscribers, at least four, because it really doesn't matter it, to me. It, it matters, but that's not why I'm there. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's nice. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't, it's nice, but I don't want to make it a big deal because that's not the point or the goal. You know what I'm saying? It's what just is your to, goal, Dre? To be, it's just to be on YouTube, to put myself out there, to, to change, to do the exact opposite of how I was living before. So before gotcha. I was kind of hiding behind things and I just want to, here I am, Internet, you, you know, I'm, I'm doing this. This is what I do, you know, right. and then that brought it to Louisville's smiles in the street. This is what I do. I tell you what, some YouTubers was to get me more business as far as photography wise and putting, you know, getting more uh, SEO action going on, but it doesn't, it's not really working, to be straight up honest. So um, mm. to put myself out there in the street, you know, I just want to do the opposite. I was telling you the other day, hey, I like dark color clothing, and so if I go to the grocery the grocery store, if I go to the clothing store and I normally reach for that dark brown shirt, I want to reach for that bright orange shirt. You know what I mean? I just I'm just trying to change my life. Um, mm. A few years ago, I did get divorced. It totally just it it, it was kind of almost like the end of your life. But here I am. I'm still living because everything that you work for, um, that you got to at that point it's just gone i lost everything you know and i'm just mm. starting over from scratch and i'm changing my ways at the same time i'm changing the way I, i'm trying to change the way i think i'm trying to become like a just a different person mm. you know i, I want to live a new life literally for the most part i just want to be different so one of the things was to put myself out there on youtube because the other way wasn't working or didn't work yeah. does that make any sense <laughs> so so much stuff in there, Jay. <laughs> I think we got to do like a part two, part three, part well, I don't ten. Put myself out there like that. <laughs> but <laughs> no, man. I yeah, I know. I get it. You know, oh, we talk about man. that all the time. I'm just looking for camera. change. You know, um, change, and that's where the smiles also comes into effect. I was very unhappy. You know, the last mm -hmm. several years of my life. So, I want to be surrounded with happiness now surrounded mm. with smiles and 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 that's kind of where that was going and i was kind of avoiding that part in the beginning but that's what that's all about you know so awesome dude right, that's great right. i want to do one a little digging <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i want to be the one that, that's that's what so i wanted to hear you knew because i already told you i did you. know <laughs> <laughs> and i wanted to be response i wanted that it took to, us 25 minutes to get that <laughs> I want to be responsible for that. I want to be the one that's responsible for a smile and happy faces. So if that were to blow up and they're talking to me about that, that is huge to me. That's, that's big. If I could get on a news channel, this is not, this is what I think of in the future, not what the whole goal is, but if I can get on the news channel actually talking about smiles and happiness, that will make me uh, feel good. It's just a personal thing that I'm trying to, you mm. know. Dude. All right, man. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you for sharing that. I, yeah, there's definitely You're a lot welcome. more there, so, and we can continue the conversation in the next episode. <laughs> yeah, okay. But the thing is, it's, it's all like that. I, I haven't looked at monetary, monetary uh, type things, and that's when I was asking you because I'm totally thinking this and not that, and should I be thinking that? If that comes, how do I take advantage of it? So I know we run it, we run it on time, so that was that. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff there, and uh, mm -hmm. we can definitely dig into it. And I can't wait for the rest of the lab rats to hear the rest of your story because I I like how see this process goes. I just let you go, and and you can kind of reveal on on your own terms, you know, what you want to <laughs> share with your with your real <laughs> goals, you know. And so I think that's very inspiring to other people where, you know, that there's this surface, there's this kind of breakthrough that we all have to go through. Uh, until we really get down and clear about what we we really want from our lives. So okay. thank you for sharing that, man. I really You're appreciate welcome. it. We are going to continue right. this in the next episode okay. of Good Shit Friday. <laughs> so um, 
Any last words? Tell them where to go, where to visit. Facebook.com slash Louisville Smiles. Check it out. Like the page and share it. Uh, that would be nice, even though if you're not in the city of Louisville. Of course, follow me on EMIP TV on YouTube, Twitter, EMIT, EMIP TV. Thank you very much, Dre. I really appreciate that. And uh, once again, my name is Megan, reminding you to get in the lab. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Thanks so much, guys, for listening to Good Shit Friday with me and Dre. We always have a lot of fun on the show, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like on this video if you did, and subscribe to the channel, and subscribe to uh, Dre's channel. Give some love to my co-host. Um, you can also tweet at us. I'm at Megan J. Photo, and he's at EMIPTV. And uh, thanks so very much, guys, and hopefully we'll see you uh, in the next episode. All right. Peace.